Hi, this is Ty Anderson with Coaching Company. Today I'm going to show you how to use the single sign-on application available with Microsoft Online Services. This application is available anytime you log into the Microsoft Online Services portal with your account. I've already done that in this instance and I see the Microsoft Online Services dashboard. Down here in the middle in the download section is the Microsoft Online Services sign-in application. You can download this application and what it's going to do when you authenticate using this application, you don't have to authenticate again. Uh, from this, this application provides links to Microsoft Outlook, to Microsoft Office Outlook Web Access, to live meeting, and to the, this portal as well. You wouldn't ever have to sign in again uh, to any of the services available inside of Microsoft Online Services. Okay, so to, to demonstrate this sign-in application, what we're going to do is we're going to download this, install it, and then I'll, I'll show you how to walk through the initial configuration or setup of the application and then follow it all the way through to uh, watching it load us into, say, the portal here. So the first step, obviously, is to download the application. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and run it and not save it to my desktop. go ahead and accept the licensing terms, choose the defaults for the installation location as well as for creating a shortcut on the desktop and hit install. pretty small installation file it really just takes a couple minutes max to install it So the next step that we're going to do is start the Microsoft Online Services sign-in application. I'm going to unenable that and finish this setup. And the other thing I'm going to do is go ahead and sign out and close the browser. And now we'll be ready to actually test out the, the sign-in application. Now let's open up the sign-in application. I'll enter in my username and my password. And then I'm going to go ahead and enable the three checkboxes here for remember my username, remember my password, and automatically sign me in. So automatically sign me in will just automatically run the authentication process when I open up the sign-in application. this is the first time you're running the sign-in application on your on your machine it's going to make some changes to Internet Explorer warns you of this and you, you just hit continue and the sign-in application will do the rest it takes just a second after the changes in Internet Explorer have been made two more changes sets of changes that need to be made one for Microsoft Outlook and the other for Microsoft Office live meeting uh, we'll go ahead and apply these configurations Once, once they're done, then you'll see three icons available here, and also Outlook's going to automatically start for us. But we also have three sets of icons, one for email and calendaring. It has a sub or a child icon as well. That would take you to the Microsoft Office Outlook web access site. We also have the web conference or the Microsoft Office live meeting link and a link to my company portal. Each of these links will automatically take us to the to those sites and authenticate us with our account on Microsoft 
online services. I'm just going to wait for Outlook to finish doing its thing. It might take a few minutes. But I guess in the meantime, I can show you, we can go straight to the, to the My Company portal. As you can see, Internet Explorer automatically opens up for me. Uh, I have the welcome message to me. Uh, so you can see that I've already been authenticated. And then when Outlook is done, you'll see that Outlook has already been authenticated and connected with the Exchange services available in my My Online or Microsoft Online Services account. thing from here I could I could also go straight to my team site or my SharePoint site I've defined a team site site collection already and simply with that link I can go straight to it and not have to authenticate so that's all I have to show for you today uh, again this is the sign-in application for Microsoft online services simply installing it and then configuring it with your username and password uh, it'll do the rest. It'll configure Outlook for you to use the Exchange services in your Microsoft Online Services account as well as uh, provide you with a set of links that allow you to, with just one click, access those those websites for, for a live meeting as well as the Outlook Web Access and your My Company portal without the need to, uh, to re-enter your authentication credentials. So I hope this is useful for you today and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.